we want to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equals e to the power of two x plus one, graphed here in blue, x equals zero, which is the y-axis, and x equals zero point eight, which is this vertical line here. And this region is rotated about the y-axis. So this blue region here is the bounded region. If we rotate this region about the y-axis, it creates this solid here, and our goal is to find the volume of this solid. Because we have a function of x and a vertical axis of rotation, we'll be using the shell method to find the volume, where the volume is equal to two pi times the integral of p of x times h of x, integrated with respect to x from a to b, where p of x would be the distance from the axis of rotation, and h of x would be the height. To help us set up this integral, we'll sketch a representative rectangle, which if it was rotated about the y-axis, would give us one shell of the volume. And when sketching the rectangle with the shell method, the rectangle is always parallel to the axis of rotation. So a rectangle might look something like this, or if we rotate this about the y-axis, again it would give us one shell of the volume. To visualize this, here are several shells that could be used to approximate the volume of our solid. Notice here, if we increase the number of shells, the volume of the shells would approach the volume of the solid. So if n is a number of shells, and we take the limit as n approaches infinity of this sum, this is what gives us our definite integral. So looking at this rectangle again, notice how the width of the rectangle would be delta x. This is why we integrate with respect to x. And then this length here would be p of x. And notice how p of x would just be x, the distance along the x-axis. And then h of x, the height, would be this length here, which is the function value given by y equals e to the power of two x plus one. So h of x equals e to the two x plus one and we'd be integrating from zero to zero point eight. And therefore the volume is equal to two pi times the integral of, again, p of x times h of x would be x times the quantity e to the two x plus one integrated with respect to x from zero to zero point eight. Now let's evaluate this on the next slide. Let's go ahead and distribute. So we'd have x e to the two x plus x. Let's go ahead and write this as two separate integrals. We'll have to apply integration by parts to integrate the integral of x times e to the two x. So we'll have two pi times, we'll have the integral of x e to the two x plus the integral of x so again this integral here is going to require integration by parts and for review the formula is given here so here let's let u equal x if we let u equal x, then dv is gonna be equal to e to the two x dx. So we'll differentiate to find differential u. So differential u is equal to differential x or dx. And now to find v, we'll integrate both sides of this equation here. And therefore v is gonna be equal to one half e to the two x. Notice here to integrate e to the power of two x dx, what the perform u substitution, and have an extra factor of one half. So now we have two pi times, we'll have uv minus integral of v du, so uv would be one half x e to the two x minus the integral of v du, well, v du would be one half e to the two x, and then du is dx, 
and we still have plus the integral of x dx. Now we'll go ahead and find these antiderivatives. So we have 2 pi, and we have 1 half x e to the 2x. Again, to integrate here, we'll perform u substitution, where u is equal to 2x, and if u equals 2x, then differential u equals 2 dx. So dividing both sides by 2, 1 half du equals dx. So we write this as e to the u. We'll have an extra factor of 1 half. So this would be minus 1 fourth e to the 2x. And then we have plus x squared divided by 2. Now we'll evaluate this at x equals 0.8, then x equals 0, then find the difference, then multiply by 2 pi. Let's do this on the next slide. So when x equals 0 0.8, we'd have 1 half times 0 0.8 times e to the power of 2 times 0 0.8 minus 1 fourth times e to the power of 2 times 0 0.8 and plus 0 0.8 squared divided by 2. And then when x is 0, notice how this product here would be 0. Here we'd have minus 1 fourth times e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1, so we have minus 1 fourth. And then when x is 0, this term is 0. So we have 2 pi times 1 half times 0 0.8 e to the, this would be 1.6 power minus 1 fourth e to the power of 1.6. And then 0 0.8 squared would be 0 0.64. So we have plus 0 0.64 divided by 2. And then we have minus negative 1 fourth or plus 1 fourth. And now we'll go to the calculator. So we have 2 pi times 1 half, which is 0.5 times 0.8 times e raised to the power of 1.6 and then minus 1 fourth or minus 0.25 e to the 1.6 and then plus 0.64 divided by 2 and then plus 1 fourth or plus 0.25. So the approximate volume would be 8.2495 cubic units. So going back to the first slide, if we rotate this bounded region about the y-axis, it would form this solid, and the volume of this solid is approximately 8.2495 cubic units, and we found this volume using the shell method. I hope you found this helpful.